Every school kid learns that there are exactly eight planets in our solar system. But what if we told you there might be a night? A world that may be six times the size of Earth and take 12,000 years to orbit the Sun. The only thing is, while some scientists are convinced Planet 9 exists, no one has seen it. Yet, this hypothetical world, nicknamed Planet 9, by some of the scientists searching for it, has stirred up controversy since it was first proposed. Now, a new analysis predicts that if it's out there, that skulking planet could be closer, brighter, and easier to spot than previously estimated. So, have we really found our long-lost Planet 9? And where is it located? Join us today as we are going to talk about the evidence of a real ninth planet found by scientists. And let's get started. Caltech researchers have found mathematical evidence suggesting there may be a planet X deep in the solar system. This hypothetical Neptune-sized planet orbits our Sun in a highly elongated orbit far beyond Pluto. The object, which the researchers have nicknamed Planet 9, could have a mass about 10 times that of Earth and orbit about 20 times farther from the Sun on average than Neptune. It may take between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to make one full orbit around the Sun. The unseen planet is predicted to exist based on its apparent gravitational influence on a group of small objects with odd, clustered orbits. But so far, searches for it have come up empty, and critics contend that the hints of its presence are just ghosts in the data. Now, a new scientist believe that this new planet is closer to us than we ever thought. Instead of orbiting our home star once every 18,500 years, astronomers calculate that it loops around the Sun in about 7,400 years. That tighter orbit brings it much closer to the Sun than previously expected, which means that Planet 9 may appear brighter to Earth-based telescopes. I think it's within a year or two from being found, says Mike Brown, an astronomer at the California Institute of Technology and an author of the new study, which has been accepted for publication in the Astronomical Journal. But he adds, I've made that statement every year for the past five years. I am super optimistic. Brown's latest analyses of Planet 9's gravitational shenanigans, calculated with his Caltech colleague Constantin Batigen, suggests that the world is roughly six times as massive as Earth, which would likely make it either a rocky super-Earth or a gaseous mini-Neptune. If discovered, the planet would be the first large world to join the solar system's cast of characters since 1846, when astronomers announced the discovery of Neptune, an ice giant whose presence was forecast by its gravitational influence on Uranus. But over the years, skeptics have suggested that the gravitational signatures betraying Planet 9's presence are nothing more than observational artifacts. Critics argue that the apparent clustering of distant objects' orbits doesn't reflect the influence of an unseen world and is instead the result of natural biases in sky surveys. Most of these objects are discovered with large telescopes that have limited time for surveys of the outer solar system, and they look in the places they can look, which depends on where they are located," says Renu Malhotra of the University of Arizona, who is agnostic about the planet's existence and is working on her own estimates of its position. Astronomers have so far discovered only a handful of these distant objects, and without a more complete census of the outer solar system. It's tough to tell whether these small icy objects are truly behaving strangely or are randomly distributed. To aid searchers in the meantime, Brown and Batigen used their revised calculations to make a treasure map that points to a swath of sky where Planet 9 is most likely to be found. That area crosses the densely populated, sparkling plain of the Milky Way, which could have helped the planet hide during past searches. Now, we really know where to look, and where not to look, Brown says. So, where did Planet 9 come from, and how did it end up in the outer solar system? Scientists have long believed that the early solar system began with four planetary cores that went on to grab all of the gas around them, forming the four gas planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Over time, collisions and ejections shaped them and moved them out to their present locations. Batigen and Brown continued to refine their simulations and learn more about the planet's orbit and its influence on the distant solar system. Meanwhile, Brown and other colleagues have begun searching the skies for Planet 9. Only the planet's rough orbit is known, not the precise location of the planet on that elliptical path. If the planet happens to be close to its perihelion, Brown says, astronomers should be able to spot it in images captured by previous surveys. If it is in the most distant part of its orbit, the world's largest telescopes, such as the twin 10-meter telescopes, and the James Webb Telescope will be needed to see it. 
However, the road to the theoretical discovery was not straightforward. In 2014, a former postdoc of Brown's, Chad Trujillo, and his colleague Scott Shepard published a paper noting that 13 of the most distant objects in the Kuiper belt are similar with respect to an obscure orbital feature. To explain that similarity, they suggested the possible presence of a small planet. Brown thought the planet's solution was unlikely, but his interest was piqued. He took the problem down the hall to Batigen, and the two started what became a year-and-a-half-long collaboration to investigate the distant objects. As an observer and a theorist, respectively, the researchers approached the work from very different perspectives. Brown is someone who looks at the sky and tries to anchor everything in the context of what can be seen, and Batigen as someone who puts himself within the context of dynamics, considering how things might work from a physics standpoint. Those differences allow the researchers to challenge each other's ideas and to consider new possibilities. Now, how are scientists planning to find this planet? The fact that scientists haven't yet set eyes on Planet 9 could suggest that if it exists, the world is positioned near the farthest reaches of its orbit, making it a faint, slowly moving target that's hiding in starlight. Brown and Batigen, plus Shepard and Trujillo, are using the powerful Subaru telescope, situated atop Hawaii's Mauna Kea to hunt for the elusive planet. But even with the sharpest tools in astronomers' arsenal, the search is challenging. It has been revealed that, at its surmised brightness and orbit, Planet 9 inconveniently blends into the glittering masses of background stars, a world adrift amid the milky streamer of our galaxy in the nighttime sky. In addition, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS, which is busy searching for planets orbiting other stars, may catch sight of Planet 9 as it scans areas that include the planet's supposed orbit. In 2019, Astronomers suggested that clever data processing could pull faraway solar system objects from TESS observations, a technique that Laughlin and Yale University's Mailer Rice are currently working on. Many astronomers agree that Planet Hunter's most likely chance of finding Planet 9 is the Vera Rubin Observatory, currently under construction atop a Chilean mountaintop. This 8.4-meter telescope with an enormous field of view will photograph the entire visible sky every few nights. Starting in 2023, the observatory will let astronomers track the movements of millions of celestial objects, including space junk, asteroids, comets, spy telescopes, stars, and maybe even Planet 9. Vera Rubin will cover about two-thirds of the sky, but it will cover that sky uniformly and repeatedly, Malhotra says. It will really help us make some big advances in this type of problem. Furthermore, Brown thinks the planet could turn up before fancy, next-generation telescopes come online, perhaps, he says, the stealthy world is lurking in data that astronomers already have in hand. I would be willing to bet, and I often lose bets, that images of it exist in surveys that we already have, Brown says. I don't think anything has been discovered that was not later found in existing data, starting with Uranus, all the way to Pluto and Eris. Brown discovered the dwarf planet Eris at the Palomar Observatory in 2005, and he later found that the earliest image of it was on a photographic plate made by the same telescope in 1955. I just have this feeling that it's going to happen again. So Brown may be right as the universe is filled with wonders, and with each passing day new mysteries are unraveling giving rise to more questions and missions to the space. And if we find this planet X, it would be a mind-blowing discovery about the universe. And this is all for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.